You can also do these um, nested. So here you have an if else. Let's say we went back to our say, let's see here. I'm going to say A. So if A is pressed, say A. Now in my else, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do else, and I'm going to put another if else. So you could have it nested. You see my if else is in my if else. So it's if A is pressed, then say A. Else, if I'm going to do another one. If oh, let's go to our con which one? I'm going to do the same thing. B is pressed. You can see my pattern. So if A is pressed, then say A. Else, if B is pressed, then let's say B. Say B. Else, let's do another one. This is fun. Uh, if C. Else, if, don't worry, I'll stop here. <laughs> we can go on forever, right? Ah, I'm not going to do all letters. So if A is pressed, say A. L, then say A. Else, if B is pressed, then say B. Else, if C is pressed, then say C. Else, let's say something else. We say that's all the letters I learned. Here, it's all the letters I know. It's all the letters I know. That's it. A, B, C. All right, let's see what happens. If I press A, oh, it's fast. Look, we can do the one, say A, for two seconds if you wanted to stay, but I'm just doing it fast. A, B, C. As long as I stay pressed. So you have A, B, C when I press it. And otherwise, that's all the letters I know. So every time I hit A, it says A, B, B, C, C. If you want it to stay longer, you can do that for two seconds. Now, there's other conditionals also. Um, you know, this event itself is like, you can say here, when the space is pressed, you can have something else. Then, you know, do something else when the space is pressed. So every time the space is pressed, I'm just going to say hello for two seconds. So here, now I still could do my A, but now when the space is pressed, ah, it didn't work. Let's see. Why did that not work? Let's see. I think this one is interfering. Okay, let's do something else. Meow. Okay. I think it was already showing this, that it never showed the other one. So here, when the space is pressed, now, so this is also a kind of conditional um, because it's also, you know, checking for something. Um, uh, the other one here, there's another one that's condition and control, like a wait. You can wait until a certain conditional is true. So I'm not going to use this, but you could use this, a wait until something is true. So there's a lot of, basically you're checking if something is true. If something is true, then you're going to do something. So there's a lot of different ways to use conditionals. Here you could see I even nested them in this video.